Say what I mean. We did this just drunk by Roger Hargreaves. Let's start. Mr. Strong by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Strong. This is a story about of Mr. Strong. Mr. Strong is the strongest person in the whole white world. Strongest person in ever in and probably the strongest person there will ever be. He is so strong. He is not only president, but probably his belt. He can carry contests. Mm. Mr. Strong is so strong. He can fall as far as you want to fall tennis ball. This is going so strong. He can handle now into a wall just by tapping them with his fingers. Strong by name is strong by nature. And what I like to know the secret of Mr. Stone sleeps eggs. More eggs Mr. Stone eats, the stronger he becomes. Stronger and stronger and stronger. Anyway. The story is about a funny thing that happened to Mrs. Strong one day. That morning he was having a good time and because he was having eggs. Following by eggs and to finish he was having guess what? That's right. Eggs. That was Mr. Strong. Normal breakfast. After his eggy breakfast, Mrs. Dom cleaned his teeth. And as usual, he squeezed a little toothpaste out of the tube and as used to clean his teeth. He And he cleaned his teeth so hard he broke his toothbrush. Mr. Strong gets a lot of toothpaste and toothbrush. After that, he decided to take a walk. He put on his hat. I'm going to the front door of his house. Crash! At the bills of the day, he thought to himself, stepping outside his house. He shut his front door. Bang! The door fell out. He, he just. must have shown me gets through a lot of front doors. Mr. Strong went for his walk. He walked through the woods, but he wasn't looking for it. He was good. He slept down into a heat. He cracked the huge tree trunk, snapped the tree. To him and again, not looking where he was going, he must step ran into him into a bus. Now, as you know, 
have two balloons on our walking tour bus. We get a fellow woman toy called Mr. Strong. The bus stop is if, if it had run into a brick wall. Whoops, said Mr. Strong. Eventually, Mr. Strong walked from the town up into the country to a farm. A farmer had had in the road looking for food. What's the matter? asked Mr. Strong. It's my home flight. It's my cornfield, replied the farmer. It's on fire, and I can't put it out. Mr. Strong looked over the hand edge, and sure enough, the cornfield was blazing. Forest leaf. Water, said Mr. Strong. We must get water to put up the fire. We don't. Have enough water to put the whole field out. Cried the away to farm it. And then near it, water is still at the river and I don't have a pump. So we'll have to find something to carry the water. Replied my sister. Is that a boy? he asked the farm, putting into a pole in the land field. Yes, I was going to pull my coat in it, said the father. But can I use it? asked Mr. Strong. Yes, but, replied the perplexed farmer. Mr. Strong walked over to the pole and then do and what he did, he picked it up. He actually picked up the boar. Finally couldn't believe his eyes. Now Mr. Strong carried the bar up above his head down to the river and he turned the bone upside down. Then you can throw it in the river so that it can that it can fill up with water. But then, and this shows how it's so strong it is. He picked it and up and carried it back to the blazing cornfield. Mrs. sister emptied the upside down barn full of water over the farm's slip splutter, splutter. One minute, one minute, the flames were lit high into the air. The next minute, it did go. However, can I thank you? The farmer asked Mr. Strong. Oh, it was nothing, said Mr. Strong, on Tabby's. But I must find something a little from here, said the Mr. Strong. Yeah, the farmer said we must keep chickens. Yes, lots, said the farmer. And chickens lay eggs. And I rather like eggs. And you should have many eggs that we can carry, said the farmer, and took Mr. Stone over to the farm yard. Mr. Stone says goodbye to the farmer and said, 
him for the legs. Then the friend thanked him for helping. Then Mrs. Stone just his one finger picked up the legs and went home. Mrs. Stone put the eggs carefully down on his kitchen table and went to close the kitchen door. Crash the door fell off his hinges. Whoops! The Mr. Stone and sat down, crunch the chair foot to bits. Whoops! said Mr. Stone and started cooking his lunch. And for lunch, she was starting with eggs full of bread and egg or two, and then eggs, and then for his pudding, he was having, well, can you guess? If you can. There's no need to turn the page over to find out that is he was 